Unit 9. Speaker 1. Malaysia is a beautiful, complex vacation site with its combination of history and modernization. It is a cultural mixing bowl of Malay, Chinese, Indian and indigenous customs and heritage. A land where ancient rainforests give way to multicultural city life, the best places to visit in Malaysia offer stunning views and activities to indulge in, religious places of visit, and even places where one can just stretch the legs and relax. From enjoying the street food in every place you visit, to partaking in fine dining at the world-class hotels, Malaysia has it all. Travel around the different states and experience the remarkable treasures and hidden gems Malaysia has to offer. Each state offers a unique Malaysian experience for all, irrespective of age. Let us listen to what our speakers have to say about three unique places that will mesmerize you with its underwater activities, historical past and alluring rainforests. Speaker 2 Looking for a short weekend getaway why not try Pulau Rawa, a private and secluded island owned by the Johor Sultanate? Extremely white fine sands, lush, green foliage and mesmerizing coral reefs will greet you when you set foot on this lovely island. Sunbathe, snorkel, dive, swim and walk, what else do you need to make your ideal vacation become real? It is the perfect hideout for a quiet and peaceful retreat all day long, alone, or with family and friends. An unspoiled island, Pulau Rawa has all that a pristine island should have, crystal clear water, sandy beaches, swaying palm trees and a relaxing environment. Hammocks placed at strategic positions near the beach invite visitors to simply relax and enjoy the mesmerizing beauty and lulling sounds of the waves. If you enjoy hiking, be sure to use the numerous trails built for visitors to explore the island. The 40-minute trail that leads to the hilltop offers panoramic views of the island and its surrounding ocean. Alternately, you could go island hopping and have a picnic at any one of the islands while including some snorkeling and swimming for fun. Divers too can have a wonderful scuba diving experience as there is a dive center which offers paddy courses that cater to different diving levels. In the evening, play beach volleyball and make new friends, or stroll along the beach, taking in the stunning sunset that is sure to erase your stress. Try out the wide array of delicious seafood and exquisite cuisines that will whet your appetite and leave you longing for more. Participate in idle conversation with the locals and be sure to immerse yourself in this watery wonderland surrounded by magnificent marine life. Speaker 3 Today, we will be exploring Malacca's historic center and Jonka Street, so get your walking legs ready. Every attraction mentioned in our itinerary is within walking distance, so there is no necessity to take a taxi to move around. However, if you'd like the experience of a Trishaw ride, go ahead and try this unique experience. We shall first start at the Malacca Sultanate Palace where you will walk through a replica of the palace of Sultan Manza Shah who ruled Malacca from 1456 to 1477. Next, we shall explore the ruins of St. Paul's Church that is located on the summit of St. Paul's Hill. Built in 1521, it is the oldest church in Southeast Asia and Malaysia, and the ruins of the old church form part of the Malaccan Museum complex housing the Aphomosa Fort, State Thuis and various other historical edifices. As you walk downhill to the State Thuis, you will see the town hall and the governor's residence that dates to the Dutch in 1650. Use the quaint bridge to go across the river to Jonker Street and head to 8 Heron Street to check out the 18th century Dutch period residence. When in Jonker Street, look closely at the many buildings displaying the rich heritage of the Baba and Nyonya culture. The murals on the buildings along the riverside will also give you insights into Malacca's heritage. Be sure to try the numerous local cuisines that range from rice dishes, pastries, ice shavings and noodles. Many of the shops offer local handicrafts and mementos, 
and you can get a good bargain. Make some time to visit the three buildings that are all close together, the Chenghun Temple, Masjid Kampung Kling and the Sri Vinayaga Temple. If you still have some time, try out the 45-minute Malacca River cruise and take in the sights of Malacca at a leisurely pace, in comfort and without breaking the bank. Speaker 4 Do you enjoy being one with nature? Well, Tama Nagara is where you should head. Located in the mountains of Malaysia, Tama Nagara is a paradise for nature lovers and ecotourists. One of the oldest rainforests in the world, it is the place for the best jungle experience in peninsular Malaysia, perfect for those who don't have the option of visiting the jungles of Borneo. There are numerous resorts within the park that range from basic guesthouses to beautiful resorts. Hiking, night walks, rapid shooting and fishing are some of the many activities awaiting you. The best time to explore this primary rainforest is from February to September where you can do a lot of wildlife exploration, jungle trekking and canopy walk. The experience of trekking in a tropical rainforest is something totally different from any other trekking you might have done. Within 10 minutes, you will sweat a lot due to the hot and humid environment. Normal temperatures are around 30 to 34 degrees Celsius in the day and at night, it could drop to 24 to 28 degrees Celsius. Bring along a bottle of water, a small towel and some cookies or sweets to munch on if your blood sugar levels drop. Deer, wild boars, tapirs, monkeys, and more than 200 species of birds are some of the animals that you might encounter along your trek. The weather here is unpredictable so be prepared to get drenched in heavy rain. If you go for the night trek, you might sight some slow loris, mouse deer, Malayan civet cat and leopard. The rainforest is also known for its creeper crawlies and slithering creatures. So be mindful of your step and make sure you go with a guide. Do not wander off on your own. Keep to the trails as you wouldn't want to end up being lost in the jungle.